Before we go, a congressional hearing on UFOs chaired by Wisconsin Congressman Glenn Grothman. It's a topic that has interested me since I was in school. Uh, it was a very illuminating uh, hearing. Obviously, I think several of us are going to look forward to uh, getting some answers in a more confidential setting. A former intelligence official testifying this past week telling Congress of what he described as a covert government program to recover and reverse engineer alien spacecraft. Lawmakers are looking to demand more transparency from the Pentagon. That is our show today. All of our Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor and glory unto Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. <laughs> Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is Brother Eroshalam coming back at you with another video. Through the spirit, spirit and the power of Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Raka Kodash. The name of this video is E Ready to Roll Out His Agenda. Lies to control the narrative of UFOs, which are the angels, and to fight prophecy. All right, you know, with this hearing now, they have with um, this guy David Grush, his interviewer, he's a so called whistleblower, which he's a, he's a false guy, you know. Even um, when you, when you look at um, this guy, um, David Gray, I think I believe it's David Gray as well, who was on Redacted, and he, you know, was, was coming on and talking about the things about the charts, what they could do, and whatnot. And um, basically that, you know, they were going into he, what he himself and um, this guy, this former FBI agent, you know, by the, by the name of um, D'Souza, you know, his last name is D'Souza. And he was saying that, you know, these things are spiritual vehicles. They can't, they couldn't catch them. They couldn't, you know, those things can't, don't crash. All right. They just don't crash and they can't recover the, 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 the angels because the angels are, are spiritual beings. You know, they're saying they recovered these, um, not these biologics non-human biologics which they call them another pseudoscience term that they made up all right so you know but but all this when you look at it it's just you know he saw getting ready to roll out his agenda you know look at the time you know in which they you know they come in to bring this out that you know hey aliens are real and these these chariots you know these spaceships are real and all these things like that you know before you know they'll say you crazy if you brought this out many people they've been been discredited the pension been taken away and all sort of thing. You know, a lot of Edomites too. Including people like Clark McClellan. Alright? For former director of the NASA. You know, with NASA flew hundreds of missions. You know, he was in charge of hundreds of missions. Right? And all these astronauts have been seeing these um these chariots. And they've seen, you know, they've seen the drivers of the chariots who are big, tall black, so called black men. Seven to ten feet tall. You know? So all this we understand what Esau is doing, you know, Esau is trying to combat prophecy. You know, you know, he knows he has a short time. Alright? And now he's coming in, you know, for the kill. This is the reason why the Mo T B, that C hip, right? That potato chip is being pushed right now. Alright, it's all coming together. Alright, it's all coming together. Uh, let, me, let me see. Let me get a precept here. The book of um and we see everything coming coming together perfectly, right? This is the book of um, Jeremiah, chapter 23 and 20. The anger of Yahweh shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart, right? Everything that is written in the book is going to come to pass, prophecy, right? In the latter days, you shall consider it perfectly. So now we've seen exactly, we've seen more and more clearly how this devil is going to bring across, you know, his agenda, right? You know, to push what you're going to push. But all of it is going to be according to prophecy. Even though Esau, Edom doesn't understand that. Alright? So what he's doing here, by what we just saw in you know, this, this um, meeting, this hearing that they're having, alright, is to control the narrative of this so-called alien invasion. You know, talking about UAP and UFO crash retrieval. You know, and all of it is because of Bible prophecy. Which the master's not going to understand. The master's going to think that this is just aliens. Alright, but without further ado, let me just um let's get some precepts. Okay? Let's get some precepts. Let's start in the book of Second Esdras. Book of Second Esdras Chapter 9. And verse 1 he said, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I told thee before. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest 
will begin to visit the world which he made. And how the Lord visit the earth through his angels. You know, the scripture said the angels of the Lord, the, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, which the angels, they're all over. They've seen everything. They are the ones who causing these massive fires right now that burning through all these so-called Middle Eastern states, they're causing earthquakes, causing uproars among the people. All right, because why? We're in the time of the end. All right, we're in the time of the end. Um, verse 3 says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Yeah, we've seen it more and more clearly. We've seen how this devil doing. Right, according when you go back in the book of Obadiah, um, chapter 1 and verse 4, you know, it basically says, you know, once those devils went up into space and set up the space station, you know, then the Lord said he would bring them down. So that was the beginning of their fall. That was the beginning of the, you know, the curses really going back onto them according to um, Deuteronomy 30 and the seventh verse. Okay? Which the major curse are these same chariots, these same so-called UAPs, UFOs. All right? According to Ze that's Zechariah, the fifth chapter. When you go into it. All right? So it's clear, as clear as day. And all of this, you know, as, as the Lord said, you know, and as we were saying in Obadiah 1 and 4. In fact, you know, let me bring that scripture. In fact, let me bring it. It's the book of um, Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 4. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, right? And, um, and though thou set thy nest, which is a space station, the satellites, among the stars, thence, you know, after that they do that, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord, Yabashim Yoshai. And it's not a coincidence, at the same time, you know, Elder Abba Bivins came onto the scene, you know, and started to preach this word. You know, and, and the awakening, the great awakening occurred. Alright? Let's get the book of Revelation. Book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 11, it reads, And after three days and a half, which is 350 years, alright, <clears throat> the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, into who? Israel. And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Great fear. So they're in great fear. All right? And you know when an animal is afraid or back into a corner, they're going to hit out. So that's why, you know, when we jump to, let's jump to Revelation 12. And 12, it says, um, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, the people. For the devil, which is, he saw Edom, a man, right, is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knew it, he had but a short time. He knows he had but a short time. They've had many warnings. You know, even through the, um, the Large Hadron Collider, a warning came through in the Hebrew. All right. They've seen the chariots, which is another sign at the end. All right. You know, they know that they, they've been reading the prophecies. So he saw Edom, the so called white man, he's in trouble. All right. Let's jump back to. Uh, uh, Revelation 11 and 12 And they heard a great voice from heaven saying um, on, Saying unto them Come up hither And they ascended up in a cloud Which is what? A chariot And the enemies beheld them And this is the same chariots that you know That Yahweh Shai went up into You know he went up into a chariot We will get out in the book of um, The book of um, Acts Chapter 1 First chapter from around the 6th verse 1 down Right, and the scripture says he's gonna come back the same way, you know, in which in which he went. So, so first and foremost, before we go any further, let's get the book of Psalms. Let's get the book of Psalms, Psalm, chapter one of four and verse um, verse I'll start verse one. It says, "Bless your Hawa, O my soul, O your Hawa, my power. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covereth thyself?" With light as with a garment who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. Yeah. The heavens keep on growing bigger and bigger according to Esau and over through his telescope, through his satellites. Right? Who layered the beams of his chambers in the waters? These chariots could go down in water and fly on land. Right? Who make the clouds his chariot clouds? You know, the scripture um, calls chariots clouds, stars, you know, and, and whatnot. Right? Different words. Because the the, 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 um, the prophets and the men of the Lord, when they saw these things, they couldn't describe them in, in the modern, techno modern terminology because they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't know 
how they describe them. So they describe them how they saw them by what they could understand. You know? So they describe them as clouds, right? Who make it the clouds, his chariot, right? Who walk it upon the wings of the wind, who make it his angel spirits, his ministers a flaming fire, and the angels flying the chariots. When they go into the book of Ezekiel, the first chapter, you're gonna get that. Right? You know, the, the, the vehicle went basically they're roughly paraphrasing. You know, the, 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 the chariot went, right? Wherever the, the spirit went, which is the angels. Alright, so they control the chariots. Alright? And the chariots of the Lord are, are, are thousands upon thousands. There are literally millions of them, according to the book of Psalms 60 and 17. So, you know, hey, he saw them, um, you know, it's done. He's done. What he's doing is trying to control the, the narrative. Which they started to do a couple of years ago during um, the Plan D. Alright, when they, they hired all these theologians, priests, pastors, you know, basically to make up a narrative and you know, to, to, to rock Jake back to sleep. You know, and the heathen, the low level heathens that is, alright, to think that, you know, to justify religiously, you know, which they would have to do. Alright, what are these things? Whether they are they're devils or whether they are, they're, they're, which not going to teach them that they are the angels, but that's the truth. All right, that's the truth. So this guy, you know, this guy David Grush, he hints that alien contact, you know, that they recovered non-human biologic creatures in the spacecraft. You know, um, you know, all this is bullshit. All right, you know why at this point in time you're raising these things if you know it was true all along, all right? So all of us, this story, this these narratives that they're feeding us, that they're feeding us, you know, it's all about what trying to combat Bible prophecy. All right, but we know you know it's bullshit. We know we know all this is nonsense, right? Only the initiated of the Lord the elect is going to understand the truth, all right? Because it's impossible to deceive the very elect. You get that in the book of Matthew 24, all right? Um, around the 24th verse, okay? But well, let's get some more precepts. Um, let's bring wisdom of Solomon, let's bring the wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 5 and verse 1. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness, which is the elect men of the Lord, before the face of such as have afflicted him, and made no account of his labors. Right? When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Why? Because the chariots come in to save the elect and to destroy the wicked. He saw. Right? And shall be amazed at the strangers of his salvation. So the, the elites already know this, but the lower level Jakes, the lower level heathens, they're going to be like, What the hell? These are the guys, these are the men of the Lord. Right? So the men of the Lord, you know, they, they're gonna be made, men of the Lord gonna be made manifest in that time. Alright? So it shall they shall be amazed at the strangers of his salvation so far beyond all they look for. Alright? So what could be more strange than a so-called spaceship coming down? Alright? Especially for the masses of people. And who dead? They dead, they didn't have they don't have the light, they're in darkness. They don't have the understanding. They're not initiated into this truth. Right? They're not initiated into this truth. You know, now let, let me get let me get um another precept. I'm not gonna make this too long, Lord willing. This is Revelation chapter 1. And verse 7 it reads, Behold, he come out with clouds. Right? What we read the clouds were again in Psalm 104? The chariots. Who's coming with clouds? Yahweh Shai. And the scripture said, I believe in the book of Jeremiah, he shall not meet you as a man. Alright, so he's coming as an angelic power. Alright? It says, um, And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, a man. Right? So the Lord coming with vengeance in his heart. Isaiah 6, 6 and 15. Alright? Let's get that. The book of Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15 it says what for behold the lord will come with fire and with his chariots here we go all right like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire for by with fire and by his sword will the lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the lord shall be many and he get this account in the second Ezra 13 chapter all right you know and the Lord is going to come into what? To fight first and foremost Esau, Edom and his chariots. Which these chariots, which they so-called receive or which they received 
were received from the Lord, they didn't crash. All right? They never crashed. Um, there's this other guy. What's his name? Uh, his name Bob Lazar. Bob Lazar is the guy's name. And he was going into, you know, how they took him to, was it section, was it uh, uh, um, area 51? You know, when he, when he places that area 51 and, and, you know, they showed him chariots and they asked him to, to reverse engineer stuff over it, you know, and they didn't receive these charts because they crashed and they, they, you know, and whatnot. They were, these things were given up from death to them. The same way the Lord said he created the waste to destroy um, Isaiah 54 and 16, which is the nuclear weapons, all right, and he gave the understanding to Oppenheimer and those other scientists, Edomite scientists. It's the same way the Lord, Lord leave the, left those chariots for them to get the understanding to build their chariots to do what? To create, but to come, come against the Lord. The Lord is doing all this. Why? Because the Lord is a, is a man of war. Let's get up. The book of Exodus. <clears throat> the book of Exodus chapter 15. Exodus chapter 15. So why is back? Exodus chapter 15. And um, verse 3, it says, The Lord, Yahweh, is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Lord is a man of war, so the Lord, hey, the Lord is building up Esau, building him up, you know, to knock him down, right? Building up his pride. But they, these elites are the ones who control in these things, not even the regular military. All right, the elites are the ones controlling these chariots that are being reverse engineered all for the Lord's chariots. All right, you know, and they're gonna attempt to fight Yabashim Yoshai with these things, with these same weapons. That's the pride of Esau Edom. All right. Before, before I go there, let me just prove one more thing. Let's just prove in the book of Acts, you know, how the Lord went away and how, and how he's coming back. Acts chapter 1 and verse 6, it says, When they were gathered, when they would therefore come together, they asked of him with the apostles, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Because that's what it's all about. That's what the Lord's coming back to do the second time. All right? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times nor the seasons which the Father had put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses upon unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and in the uttermost parts of the earth which is here in the Americas. But the apostles are on back back right now preaching this word. Alright, and it says, And they and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld he was taken up on a cloud, which is what? A chariot. Psalm 104. Received them out of their sight. So the tractor beam took up Yahweh Shai. Right? Same way, gonna took up the, the lek according to the book of um, 1 Corinthians 15, around the 50th verse, one down. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by him in white apparel by them, which said, which are angels, which said also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai. Which is taken up from you into heaven, and we went in that that word taken up, being a man, a man being lifted up, be beamed up. It's no rapture theory, all right? Shall shall so come in like manner as you seen him go in. So he's coming back in the same way. You now what a so-called spaceship, a so-called UFO, a chariot, right? You know. And let me go to Daniel. When you go to the book of Daniel, right, the twelfth chapter. It's like yeah. You know, it's, it goes into Michael was, you know, Let me read it Daniel 12 and 1 And at that time shall Michael stand up The great prince which stand up for the children of thy people And there shall be a time of trouble Such as never was since the nation Even to that same time And at that time thy people shall be delivered Everyone that shall be found written in the book The elect But Michael is coming to fight right Now let's go to Revelation Chapter 12 Right And uh, start verse 7 And Yahweh, yeah, Michael is coming with Yahweh Shai, right? Michael is the, the great archangel of war, right? Revelation 12 and 7, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels, right, fought against the dragon, which is Esau, Edom, revised Roman Empire, and the dragon fought and his angels. So they're going to bring out their very best to fight against Yahweh Shai, all right? And it says, and prevail not, neither was their place found any more in heaven, Right? And that great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, Esau, Edom, the serpent who was in the garden, called the devil and Satan, 
which deceived the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So they were they were they're gonna be destroyed. Because we're gonna read the book of Second Ezra, chapter 13 now, you know, and we're gonna get the full account. You know, that they that's gonna only gonna be dust. That's all that's gonna be left of Esau and his weaponry and his chariots. They're gonna be completely wiped out and obliterated. Alright? And that's the facts. So all these nations that Esau is going to gather unto him, which is what Ronald Reagan was talking about, you know, in an interview. You know, he was saying that, you know, if all the nations could unite together, if they have a common threat, right? The common threat is your Hawa Shine the angels. Alright? This is 2nd Ezra 13 and first, I'll start at first, uh, first, uh, two, first 2. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea and it moved all the waves thereof. Right, talking about the, 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 um, the air, the air. And I behold, and lo, and, di, and, <laughs> wow. It's going to be upper. And I, and I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, right? It's getting the scripture, say the angels, the Lord, um, the chariots, the Lord, are, ten, are thousands, 20,000. Uh, Psalm 68. All right, that's roughly paraphrasing. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen on them. They, they're going to be shaken in the boots. When they see that fathership and the attack chariots come, smaller attack chariots. Alright? And whensoever the voice went, the voice went out of his mouth, all they burnt that heard his voice. This is talking about the laser beams of the chariot. Alright? Just as you see in War of the Worlds and what and you see in the Predator. Alright, the laser beam that come out. Gonna be zapping them. All the things tremble that were seen under him, and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, they all burnt that heard his voice. Like as the earth faileth when it feedeth the fire. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven. Yeah, that's right. All the nations gonna come together. All the nations gonna come together. Even Russia gonna join in the last bit to fight against the Lord. Alright? Now we get up. Second is just 15 and verse 20. It reads, Behold, saith the Lord, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun. From the south, from the east, and Lebanus to turn themselves one against another and repay the things that they have done to them. So they're gonna fight against each other in World War Three, and during the heat of World War Three, you know, the Lord is gonna come back, and they're all gonna gonna stop fighting one another and turn to fight the Lord. They're gonna band together to fight the Lord. All right, it says, like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, the elect of Israel, so will I do also and recompense in their bosom. Thus saith Yahweh Power. Alright, so the Lord is going to wipe them out Going back to 2nd Ezra 13 Alright And um And um, verse 5 And after this I beheld and lo There was a gathered together a multitude of men Out of number from the four winds of the heaven To subdue the man that came out of the sea But I beheld and lo He had graved himself a great mountain And the chariot was so big that fathership They couldn't see the beginning or the end it Took up the whole sky Right and flew upon it, but I would have seen the region or the place where out the hill was graven, and I could not, yeah, because it was so big. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, so they were afraid, yet does fight. So they're still going to try to fight the Lord, all right, because the Lord wants to destroy them, all right. He wants them to fight so that they will, he will destroy them and make an example. Same thing he did with Pharaoh. Alright, when Pharaoh's chariots were cast into the sea. Okay? You know, this is what's going to happen. Okay? You know? Um, this is Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 22. Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra, which is the capital of Esau, America. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs, in her birth pangs. Yeah, they're going to be in a hellish condition. They're going to be bawling with them. You know, oh, Lord, it's the end. You know, you know, you know that's it first. Yeah, and that's, that's exactly it. The end of your kingdom. All right? He saw as the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. All right? So let's go back to 2nd Ezra 13 and verse 9. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came. Yeah, they came against the Lord. You know, all, all guns blazing. All right? That's how they're going to come. He neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth chariots 
as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his breath, out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight, and burned them up, every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, yeah, all these nations, nothing was to be received, nothing, right? Imagine how great that's going to be. But thou, but only dust and the smell of smoke, when I saw it, I was afraid. All right? And dust says the Lord, that's what's going to happen. You know? They're going to, they could do what you, you could do what you want. At the end of the day, prophecy is prophecy and it's going to come to pass. All right? You know, and for, you know, for those, you know, for those, do, those who um, elect, don't be fooled by this devil. Don't be fooled by this devil, you know, and his, his narratives. I'll just get one precept here. Hopefully, Lord willing, and close this out. Spare with me a moment here. Bear with me a moment here. This is the book of um, 1 Timothy chapter 6. And uh, verse 19 it reads, uh, yeah, see, verse 20 it says, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, yeah, the prophecies. Avoid profane and vain babblings, right? He saw his lies, his narratives, to control, you know, to control if your mind. And oppositions of science false, the so-called, right? Which some professing have heard concerning the faith, grace be with thee. Amen. So, yay, yeah, don't be fooled by the lies that he saw, you dumb, he's the devil. All right, and I'm gonna leave you with a little video. Um, basically, going into you know from Zimbabwe back in the 1990s, I believe, where where um it was proven one of the young girls, the Jake girls, who saw you know the angels come down, you know, confirmed that they were so-called black men. All right, I pray this lesson was edifying. I wanna give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Rakah Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations on the hopeful elect. Till next time, Shalawam and a bad babal.